Hey Fangerines, it's Amy, I'm in the studio and I am so excited to share some news with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already heard that I am for the first time ever moving into a studio space that's not a part of my house. I am so excited, I'm a little bit nervous. It's a little nerve wracking because for the first time I won't be able to just go to work in my pajamas. I actually have to get dressed up and focus and I think this will be a really big step in the right direction. A unique opportunity came up where it's a shared space with another creative company and I will have 800 square feet. There's a room that's off to the side that has walls and a closed door and then there's another part of it that's a little bit more out in the open and I am just so excited to have a space that's designated just for work. The studio has been wonderful. We are doing some renovations to our house hopefully in the next year or so and so the studio is going to have to go through some remodeling anyway and I need a space to work in. I'm really excited to have you all come along for the ride. Can you tell that I'm excited since I've said it like six times? To kick it off I thought I would start a new series on here. I have been doing these quotes and scripting them for over a year. I post them on Instagram under the hashtag ATMotivationalMonday and I think it's just been a really inspiring way for me me to start off the week because usually Mondays are very stressful coming off of a fun weekend and instead of being upset or stressed or frazzled on a Monday I think it's important to start off with a motivating and inspiring quote so this time I decided to turn the camera on in the studio and I want to know from you do you want to see more of this kind of scripting and lettering and do you want to see it in a series or do you have other ideas for videos because with this new space I am excited to embark on more new adventures and dream up some really fun projects that we can work on together in the studio. I really want it to feel like you're here with me creating, going on field trips together and then coming back to the new studio to make stuff. There is a transition period though. I still have footage that I've shot in here and I plan on sharing those with you too. Definitely let me know in the comments what you want to see with the new studio. Do you want to see it from start to finish? Do you want to... Oh my gosh, there's this weird line on my face. Ah! See, this is part of the reason I need a new studio. Anyway, okay. So sorry about that. I had no idea that weird line was on my face. And let's take a look at the quote I scripted. For this quote, I am using the usual suspects. My Tim Holtz water brush, the Artist Loft watercolors from Michaels and a piece of American Crafts cardstock. I realized that I hadn't cleaned off my brush before dipping it in that red. So I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm just squeezing some water and rinsing it off. And then I'm going to also clean off the red palette so it doesn't have blue in there. And now what I'm doing is just squeezing a little bit of water into the red. I think I want to do some kind of rainbow version of this quote, but I'm not really sure exactly when I start how it's going to go. Every time I put my brush down on paper, it seems like my writing changes a little bit. If you're feeling this way too as you're practicing or just scripting away, I think it's okay. I think that's part of what makes the scripting unique and how you develop your own style. As you can see, I'm trying to make the thicker lines on the downstrokes and thinner ones on the upstrokes. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit more water and then as I mix these colors, because this watercolor set is fairly inexpensive, I don't mind mixing the colors. I also recommend it as a great beginner set because the colors are so vibrant and they're already created for you. It's a great one to play with and experiment with. So now I just want to go into the orange color. There's something really fun about changing colors as you go and this rainbow look is something that I really love because it makes me feel like a kid again. And it's colorful, playful, and somehow has a positive vibe to it. As I've shared these quotes on both Instagram and my blog, I found a very positive and uplifting effect that has come from it. Not only is it a fantastic practice and creative outlet for me, but it seems to be really resonating with other creatives. Individuals, organizations, and companies have been reposting the quotes, which gets these positive messages out to an even greater audience. 
Handwriting and lettering has played a big role in my life ever since I can remember. I was always practicing and trying to cultivate a fun style of writing. I'm obsessed with markers, pens, you name it, all kinds of writing utensils. I've taken classes here and there through the years. Though I wasn't formally trained, and I don't know many of the correct terms when it comes to calligraphy or brush lettering, I do know that I love doing it and infusing my own twist to it. It's taken a lot of practice and patience to get to where I am now, and I think there's always room to grow through more practice and cultivating a style true to myself. I hope this new series gets you excited to pick up a brush or a pen or a marker and inspires you to experiment while having fun with it too. As I'm finishing up this quote, you'll notice that I've mixed lowercase and uppercase and kind of bent the rules, but there really are no rules. So I encourage you to just practice and cultivate a style that's all your own. With the new studio space, I'm hoping to instill a habit of cleaning up after myself, which begins by simply cleaning off this brush with this wipe. Baby steps, right? Remember to let me know your thoughts in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Another idea I had was to just set a video like this to music. Is that a good idea or do you enjoy listening to my thought process and ramblings? It's okay to be honest too. That's why I love you, Fangerines. I snapped the photo for Instagram using the camera app on my iPhone 6 and edited with a Color Story and PicTap Go app. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell a friend about this new adventure we are about to embark on together. Keep those creative juices flowing. I will talk to you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. I love hearing from you guys, so leave any questions or comments. Whoa, did the camera just move?